Cruising through the 805 and I'm dirty cop watching. Officer, what's your name and your badge number? And I know my rights violate and it's a problem. Mask on, gloves on, yeah, I'm out here. Red dot on record to expose all you tyrants. Retro J. What's going on, YouTube? 805 Cop Watch here. Today I'm out here in a uh, little city of Buellton here in uh, California. Um, we're right here on uh, Highway 246. And uh, I'm going to pay a little visit here to the post office here. And I guess they have a sheriff's station right, right next door. Or a police station, whatever it is. too windy today not yet at least we have a POW uh, prisoners of war flag there I guess this is the side of the building here this person staring at my my son here Way that goes down into the underneath the building there. So this is the library council chambers. So I'm out here today with uh, my oldest son. My rights don't fold. I'll leave the link in the description. Make sure you guys go uh, support and subscribe. No mask, no service. No mascara, no servicio. No pets. Well, what if it's a service animal? Smoking prohibited. So it looks like a parking area back there or something.
a little call box there. So the city of Bealton, California. Police uh, station here. Looks like they're all closed up. We have to use the phone. So we have a lady in here working, doing something. Inside real quick. Are you giving for some reason here? Excuse me? Are you filming for some reason in here? Am I filming for a reason? You can't be filming in a government building, sir. Oh, yes, I have the right to. It's on poster seven right over there. You have poster seven up here? Do you have poster seven in your lobby here? You can't talk now? I've already told you what I said. And I'm asking you a question, you're a government employee. I mean, I have to answer, sir. So you're refusing to answer as a government employee? You I just told me I wasn't supposed asking. to be in here. <laughs> well, I need service. What are you buying a stamp, sir? Yes. I need you like a stamp? two one cent stamps. Do you have two cent stamps? No, sir. What kind of stamps do you provide here? <laughs> what kind of stamp would you like? Well, I wanted a one cent stamp. I don't have that, sir. Do you have a five cent stamp? <laughs> Can I help you, sir? No, I don't have that. I really, really do not have it. Well, what kind of stamps do you guys provide to the public here? We provide regular first class USA stamps. Okay, can I buy two of them, please? <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, Not a red. Yeah, what is going on down there? Where's the boss? They're not supposed to have cameras. Call the postmaster. myself right now okay. um i was asking for service and i got some rude behavior from one of your employees here okay i apologize for that How she told I me i wasn't supposed to be in here recording okay and i told her it's on your poster seven here correct and then i asked for a one cent stamp and if i can purchase a two cent stamp two cent stamp sorry you need a two cent stamp and a one cent stamp okay and I she would. said that she didn't have them here stamp left. Okay, can I purchase that? Of course. So you don't have a one cent stamp available? No. So your employee just lied to me then? 
We don't have a one cent stamp. Well, I asked for a two cent stamp. She said she didn't have it. So she lied to me. Can I get your name, please? Sure. Alex. Alex? Mm -hmm. Thank you. And can I get the other lady's name, too? Uh, who was it who helped you? Uh, I'm not too sure. She, was, she was initially in here to begin with. Here. It was, um, I'm not too sure. She well, was just standing here. She was an older lady. Very rude. Started barking orders at me that I couldn't be in here. And I need her name for the record. She's a government employee. Yeah, if you can just look, if you can describe her to me, there was two ladies up here. I think she had a bun. Uh, she might have had a hair bun. A hair bun? Yeah. Dark hair or light hair? She wasn't a, a Caucasian lady. She was an African American lady. Oh, okay. Her name is Lafaf. Let me go get a barcode so I can scan this for Thank you. Thank you. Don't mind. Very unprofessional here, man. City of Bealton, guys. USPS. Employees here are not very professional. Seems like the postmaster knows what she's talking about, but trying to violate our uh, constitutional rights here in a United States Postal Station here. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day, gentlemen. How can I help you, sir? No problem. Thank you. You're welcome. So yeah, guys, as soon as we went in there, that employee told us that we couldn't be in there recording with cameras. I told her that poster 7 was up on the wall over there. I asked her where it was. She couldn't explain to me where it was. She all of a sudden got silent and couldn't talk. Then she asked if we needed any help. And I said, yeah, I'd like to buy a one cent stamp and a two cent stamp. And then she told me she didn't have any, so she lied. It was very unprofessional. So I asked for the postmaster. And they bring the postmaster out. And she asked if we're with the uh, Constitution. 
I said I'm with myself right now. But, um, it seemed like she knew what we were here for. And she's aware of the Constitution and our rights. And she's obviously aware of Poster 7. And, uh, she was uh, a lot more professional than, uh, the other employees there. The other two ladies there that were initially there when we came in weren't very professional. Complaining about the cameras, and that we're not supposed to be in there with cameras. Nice to see you. Are you good? Yeah, yeah. Are you safe? Oh, yeah, yeah. You too? Yeah. yeah. You take care. Have a good day. You too. So that lady was very nice. She didn't mind the cameras or anything. And most of the people that came into the post office since we've been here filming haven't said a word to us. I'm sure they're curious of what we're doing here, holding cameras and filming and whatnot, but they haven't came and disrespected us or asked us what we were doing. Here. for a one cent stamp. She said she didn't have one. I asked her for a two cent stamp. She said she didn't have one. Then I asked her what kind of stamp did they provide for, to the public? Or for customers, you know? And she couldn't answer me. She finally answered me and said she just has the regular old classic uh, stamps and then another lady walked by and said uh, we weren't supposed to be in here inside the post office there with our cameras so I told her to go get the postmaster and Alex that's the name of the postmaster she came out and she was fairly respectful obviously understood what we were doing here didn't try to violate our rights. Unlike the other employee that was really unprofessional and rude, that lies to the public and customers asking for service. That's the city hall right over there.
so guys, Gilton, California, United States Post Office. Employees are rude. Didn't offer any uh, help to the public or to customers. Myself. Um, I was just looking to buy a one cent stamp and a two cent stamp, or maybe a couple of each, and they didn't have none, is what the lady was telling me. The first uh, lady that I was talking to, employee in there, she lied to me, said she didn't have them. So, there you go, guys. Built in California post office. You guys will know what you're uh, looking at when you guys get here then. If you ever pay a visit to uh, Bilton and come by this post office, you know what type of employees you're gonna be dealing with. I would say the postmaster was more educated on what we were doing here. Like I said, she was more respectful and nice about things. Gave me her name, gave me the other uh, employee's name, I already forgot it, but um, so yeah guys, I would say this was a fail. First Amendment audit fail. Alright guys, until the next one, I'm out.